Hi, and welcome to another Wiser Minute. In this short video, we will demonstrate how to set up a wireless network using a wireless router easily sourced and purchased online or at your local electronics store. The network we will set up is a small, self-contained network, sometimes called an ad hoc network. This is a wireless router that we purchased several years ago that we use to connect our simulation devices, laptops, and tablets to run scenarios in situ where we can't connect to an existing wireless network or where no wireless network exists. When choosing our router, we looked for a well-known, reputable brand and a model with good ratings. Let's take a quick look at the things you may need to interact with to get things running. This is the back of the router. At the bottom right, you can see the port for the power. To the left of that is the on-off switch. To the left of that, in yellow, there are four Ethernet ports. You would use these ports to connect a device with no wireless ability, such as a desktop. To the left in blue is an Ethernet port marked as Internet. This is also known as an uplink port, used to connect the router to a device that will provide access to the Internet. Just a note about this, make sure you talk to your IT department before connecting a router to your company's network. The two remaining items, a USB port and the reset WPS button, are primarily used to make changes to the router configuration. We will not be covering that in this video. In order to connect devices to your router, you will need to know two things, the network name or SSID and the password or WEP key shown on two labels here. On most routers, that information is on a label on the back as it is here. This router broadcasts two networks, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. You will need to check the manuals for your devices to see which is preferred. Nowadays, most devices will work with either, so if you don't have a manual, just pick one. If it doesn't work, try the other. Okay, now it is time to get the network up and running. First, power on your router, then power on your devices. Since there are so many potential devices that you may be using yourself, it is impossible to demonstrate them all. Here we are using a laptop running Windows 10. What you are looking at is a list of available wireless networks, showing the two networks broadcast by our router. To access this list, we click on the network icon under the list between the battery and volume icons. To connect to a network, click on the one you want and then click Connect. Once you click Connect, you will be asked to enter the password for the network. Once entered, click Next. You are now connected. Depending on the device, you will follow these same basic steps to connect additional devices to the network. Remember to change your devices back to their normal network when you are finished for the day. If you're interested in learning more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.